morning, Good morning, Kathleen, and welcome to a special edition of Ignition TV we like to call Ignition TV on a Tank Pool. In today's show, we will be showing just how much you can do in Central Florida on only a tank of gas. Central Florida is a large and diverse part of the state, so let's get this show into gear and head to our first destination. Using only 40 miles in our tank, we have arrived at our first hotspot attraction. Located on the famous International Drive in Orlando is the Escape Game. The Escape Game is famous for its interactive and challenging escape rooms. Peter and I will take this one because we have experience in detective work. Let's get in there. So we just arrived at the Escape Game Orlando, where we hope to break out of one of four unique escape rooms. We signed our waiver and we're ready to go back. Let's go. Let's go. The Escape Game experience is an incredible, immersive environment where you're brought into uh, a specific scenario and your goal is to achieve the objectives of the mission by finding clues and solving different uh, puzzles and ciphers and then also escaping the game within an hour. So as we entered the room, we were given a couple tools to help us. Ours happened to be some flashlights and a couple letters. And after that, it was up to me and Gavin to figure out all the clues and break through all the doors. So as we continue to search for our goal, it's time for you guys to learn more about the Escape Game experience. The games are built for uh, as few as two, but up to, depending on the game, up to eight players. Uh, you're brought into the game by a game guide who is there uh, to help assist you through the game if you need any special help. The games aren't super mentally difficult, like it doesn't take a lot of advanced math or anything like that, but it does take a lot of observation, putting things together, and then just making sure that you're using the clock well. Gavin, you know you did a really good job of finding all those clues and putting them together. Thanks, man. So did you. I just can't wait to come back next time. Me either. And for those of you that have not been here yet, you should really come out and try it. To book a room is real simple. Just go on the website, orlandoescapegame.com. As for Gavin and I, we have to get back to the car and see where else we're heading. I'm Gavin Hawthorne. And I'm Peter Perez. Have fun escaping. Oh, here they come. Ooh, that was so much fun, dude. All right, where to now, guys? Beats me. I don't know how we're going to top that. I know, so exhilarating. Do you guys have any ideas? I think I have just the thing. Okay. Let's go. Docking another 73 miles from our tank, we have arrived at the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa. Also known as MOSI, this is one of the most interactive and educational museums Central Florida has to offer. With tons of hands-on exhibits, educational models, and a state-of-the-art IMAX theater, it is definitely the place to be. So we're going to hand this one off to Brianna because she is the scientist among us all. I'll see you all later. All right. Welcome to the Museum of Science and Industry. Here you can create a bolt of lightning, discover the scientific revelation that is 3D printing, and learn all about your health and body. But it doesn't stop there. With over 450 different hands-on activities, Mosey has the biggest science center in the southeastern United States. I'm Brianna McKinney, and I'll be your guide to the wonderful world of science. This establishment has been open since 1982, and their purpose remains the same to expose science to all age groups, creating a vibrant community. Mosey's board of directors began planning to relocate Mosey to downtown Tampa. The new facility is to preserve and improve their mission as to provide a unique blend of fun learning for the community of future generations. Today, I experienced winds up to 78 miles per hour, got up close and personal with a lightning bolt, and saw how flexible I was. You can experience all of this and more for just under $30. Mosey is for everyone. You don't have to love science to have a fun-filled educational day. Now, I'm gonna head back to the car to see where we're going next. Like on the leaderboard? That was Maybe, yeah. amazing. Welcome back. Glad you enjoyed it. Using just half a tank of gas, we managed to make it from Orlando to Tampa and experience some of the best things the two cities had to offer. But we have one more stop for you guys. And where would that be? It's a surprise. Let's keep going. Let's go. Dude, what are we doing back at the school? Well, we can only cover so much. That's why I'm getting the word on the street on what Kathleen students love to do in Central Florida. Central Florida has hundreds of attractions to offer, from theme parks like Busch Gardens and Disney World, to shops, beaches, and so much more. 
Today, I'll be getting the word on the street, finding out exactly what Kathleen students love to do in Central Florida. My favorite place to go in Central Florida would be uh, Bush Gardens, because it's, uh, it's a very fun place, has a lot of rides. Uh, my favorite place to go is the Orlando Premium Outlets. I like to shop, stay on top of fashion trends. My favorite place to go in Central Florida would be Wikiwashi because it's one of the best places to go for like water fun and it's one of my favorite springs. My favorite place to go in Central Florida would probably be downtown Lakeland because it's got lots of stuff going on every weekend. My favorite place to be in Central Florida would be uh, Lake Parker Park because I don't know, I like to skate and they have pretty good uh, asphalt there. Probably go to the beach. It's just a nice environment, you know, just a place to relax and relieve some stress. My favorite place to go in Central Florida is probably to infinity because it's a great way to exercise and it's a lot of fun to jump with friends. My favorite place to go in Central Florida is Old Town because it's affordable and it's fun to hang out with friends. My favorite place to go in Central Florida is Dave & Buster's. It's a really fun place and it makes me feel like I'm a kid again, like going to Chuck E. Cheese's. My favorite place to go in Central Florida would probably be Universal Studios or Universal Islands of Adventure because they have both simulators and roller coasters. When you really think about it, this little place that we call home has so much buzzing to do. And maybe you could take one of Kathleen's favorite activities and make it your next date night or family outing. I'm Austin Holloway and this has been The Word on the Street. The second annual Battle of the Sexes competition will be held on November 16th. It's boys versus girls and the whole campus can jump in on the action. You must have good grades in your 6th and 7th periods in order to participate. Tickets go on sale for $2 on November 7th. We all want to keep our county looking good and FCA is helping to make that happen. Our FCA club has adopted Chestnut and Crutchfield as part of the Keep Polk Beautiful program. All students are invited to take part in a neighborhood cleanup tomorrow, October 29th. Meet at the cafeteria at 7.50 a.m. Cleanup is from 8 to 11, and all participating students will earn community service hours. It's impossible to see everything that Central Florida has to offer on just one tank full of gas. But we hope that today's show has brought awareness to some of the great things that you could do while calling Central Florida your home. You can group up with a couple of friends and enjoy the rigorous challenge that is the Escape Game Orlando. Expand your mind and have a lot of fun at Mosey in Tampa. Or even visit some of the same places your classmates at Kathleen love. Guys, I know one place that I want to go. Where? I want to eat. I am starving. Oh yeah, I'm kind of hungry yeah, too. Oh, come on. Let's take off. Rumbling. <laughs>